We made a glove that lets you harness the power of Saitama's one punch. And we might have overdone it. Go, one, two. Oh. Holy <laughs> This is Owen. <laughs> he's been a videographer at Hacksmith Industries for six years now, and in that time, he's helped us pull off some of our wildest ideas. <laughs> I think it's only fair that we try and fulfill one of his. I know he's a big fan of boxing, and I know he likes anime, and yesterday he came to me with an idea. More of a demand. Hey Charles. Hey Lou. Uh, you make stuff, right? Yes. I need you to make me something that'll allow me to punch way harder than I do right now, okay? I need something that, that gives me that one punch, man. I think I've got a plan for that. So that's my challenge. I need to turn Owen into Saitama. I think I have an idea on how to do it. Ah, <sighs> One Punch Man. Ah! Oh boy. What's gonna make me punch harder? The general plan is we wanna use a cold gas thruster to make Owen get that like super punch. And that means getting a whole bunch of gas to flow backwards out of his hand. My original thought had been just strap a nitrogen bottle to his hand and crack the valve open, but that's a little big. So instead we're thinking, put the bottle on his back and the valve and then have a pipe running down and then a diverter that points it backwards. But first things first, I wanna see just how much like force we get out of just dumping a bunch of nitrogen out through this, uh, this hole here. It's sort of like vibe check situation. <laughs> so we're just gonna kinda eyeball it, open it up and see what happens. Vibe check in three, two, one. Well, that was disappointing, I barely felt it. We need a gauge of some sort, this is just silly. So what I want to see is I want to kick that valve open and be like, wow, that was a lot of force, instead of, huh, nothing happened. So I guess in the grand spirit of things that are great ideas, we'll start at 1,000 PSI. One. <laughs> okay. I just kicked up all of the dust in the grinding box. Okay, are we going to tape it to your arm now? Uh... All right, uh, gentlemen, you'll probably not want to be within five feet of this. I hope this goes plan. Yeah, same. All right. Three, two, one. Terrible. Oh my gosh. I think this is actually gonna work. <laughs> how, many, how much pressure was that? That was like 200 PSI. Let's try five. Three, two, one. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh my. All right. I'm it's sorry. actually giving me quite a bit of confidence. This feels, this feels not too insane. I don't think we can go faster without hurting the guy who's helping me. So let's go talk about valves. Can somebody help cut me free, please? Yes. <laughs> we need to design a whole system, but the part that's really difficult is the valve. We need something between our tank and our nozzles that'll only allow air to flow when Owen is punching. There are a couple hard and fast requirements for this. It needs to let an ungodly volume of air through, it needs to operate at stupid pressures, and it needs to be very reliable. I borrowed a page from the Snowball Launcher book again and decided to use a really big spool valve. These work by having the input and output ports teeing off of a central bore, offset from one another. A precisely fit piston, called a spool, slides along that central bore, making and breaking the connections between the input and output as it moves along. If you design it right, this is pretty reliable, really fast, and allows almost as much flow as possible between the ports. I snagged some hexagonal aluminum bar from the rack and hit the lathe, drilling and reaming it out down the center. A pair of caps sealed to each end let us hook up the control lines. And with those in place, I can show you how this works. See, when air comes into the bottom, it pushes this spool up, connecting the input and the output. When air comes in from the top, it pushes the spool down, breaking that connection. This can be done very fast if you have a big enough supply of air. And it just so happens that there is an off-the-shelf part designed for moving a piston back and forth like that. And it's actually a smaller, more compact, electrically operated spool valve. With this, we can control our really big valve with just the press of a button. So with that strapped inside of our main spool, we have a really compact way of controlling extremely high pressure gas flows at the press of a button. And it all just screws right onto our gas tank. Do you know how nice it is for me to be putting the scary, dangerous piece of gas operated equipment on somebody else's back for a change? Behold, the contraption. Yeah, see that's not too bad. I guess it's time to fill it with air and test it. So uh, let's give her a bit of pressure, just enough to see the needle move. Hey, uh, fire in the hole, loud noises hopefully. Three, two, one. Oh, it's coming together. So, conclusion from that little test, this thing packs a punch, like a big punch. 
And that's good, because we're trying to get the one big punch. So next up, we've got to find a way to channel that explosive power into an explosive punch by putting a gauntlet with some thrusters on it. How hard could it be? Sometimes here at Hacksmith Industries, we get a sponsor who invites us to swing a sword around. And I have a hard time saying no to that. So thank you to Game of Thrones Legends for sponsoring this video. Are you ready to assemble a legendary team of champions? Good lord. <laughs> Join forces with iconic characters like Jon Snow and Rhaenyra Targaryen to create an unbeatable team. What? Engage in dynamic RPG puzzles, activate your champion's special abilities, and unleash creative combos to defeat your enemies. Let's do it. Whatever it takes, through fire and blood. Strategically pair characters with deadly weapons to maximize damage, like Arya Stark and Needle. Form alliances with other players and vie for global supremacy as the breathtaking visuals immerse you in the land of Westeros from the icy north to the fiery south. Whoa, what? <laughs> Forge your own journey by forming your own House of Westeros and compete against rival alliances in tournaments and special events. Download Game of Thrones Legends by clicking the link in the description or scan the QR code and get 50 gold, 3,000 food, and a daily summon token to start your journey. That was fun. Now, back to the bill. If we want maximum punching power, we want maximum rocket power. And a good way to measure if we're getting maximum power out is if we're getting good efficiency. And a good way to see if we're getting good efficiency is to see if our exhaust plume is coming out in a straight line or an expanding line. If it's expanding, that's bad. If it's a straight line, that's good. With chemical rocket, you can see the smoke doing, you know, things. But with air, well, we can't see just nitrogen. So we need a setup that can actually visualize perturbations in the pressure in the air. And this will let us examine the cone coming out of our rocket nozzle. We're using a Schlieren imaging setup to do this. This setup consists of a point source of light, a large converging lens, a hard edge, in our case a knife, and a camera. We have something resembling a nozzle on the end of that stick. It's actually just a 3 8 length of pipe. What I want to see when I fire this off is a nice, clean, straight stream coming out of this. That would mean that we have a fairly efficient nozzle here just by dumb luck, I'm going to be honest with you. This thing has good contraption energy. I've said it before, but I'll continue saying it. Okay, three, two, one. That's a lot of force. <laughs> that is so much cooler than I expected. Okay, we're seeing some really cool effects in here. You see how there's that repeating ripple pattern? Those are called shock diamonds, and that means that our fluid is doing weird things beyond normal mortal comprehension such as going supersonic and bouncing off of itself. Will it work for our cost? Will this uh, make me punch slightly stronger than I can already? Well, it hauled the entire chalked workbench six inches across the floor while I had my foot against it. So, uh, yeah, no, it feels like the odds are pretty good. <laughs> now, if you want to try doing Schlieren imagery at home, I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial on it for our YouTube members. So join up and check that out. There's a whole bunch of fun behind-the-scenes content there. So since we last checked in, I've added a couple little things onto our whole rig here. First of all, I have a prototype gauntlet. It's good enough for now. We just want to see if this can be safely used. I've also added a low pressure regulator and some electronics to this rig so that now we can operate the valve remotely with this red button. So when you press this, it should fire the valve, opening this up and turning on the jet. So Owen will be able to hold this in his left hand and punch with his right. Now. You may notice, Owen isn't here. I hate running. <laughs> that means I'm gonna need to see if this thing is safe to use, which is something I was really hoping I could get somebody else to do. But nevertheless, here we are. I have never thrown a punch in anger in my life. I barely know what I'm doing. So let's see if we can uh, punch this guy. Okay. 800 PSI, or whatever the gauge is at now. I don't know. Jesus! <laughs> Ooh, that scared me. I hit it a bit early. Yeah. I I wasn't swinging yet when I hit it. Uh, now we're giving her everything that's left in the tank, 1,500 psi. We're gonna give this try to give this guy a good proper uppercut and see what happens. Three, two, one. Ooh. Holy crap! <laughs> Oh, if I had gotten the timing right on that first one. It was still pretty impressive. Whew. What's next? Well, we need to make this look less like crap. If we can make it more comfortable in the process, that'd also be nice. And then we put it in a backpack, 
put it on Owen, get them all dressed up, and I think we're good to go. Have them punch through stuff. Yeah. Like we're here in the gym. I've got a bottle of nitrogen, Owen's dressed to the nines, in uh, a t-shirt and a shop coat from Hacksmith.store, and nothing else. Don't point down, dude. Please. If it's not Hacksmith merch, you can't wear it. Like, <laughs> before I try on this crazy, insane project that Charles made, I want to see how well I do just punching normally. Okay, not bad, not bad. I hope this thing makes me punch way harder. <laughs> All right, I'm ready, I'm ready. Thank you, sir. Any tips? <laughs> do I any, just go any for tips? It? It's once you've got your hand moving, be prepared to keep moving best you can. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm so scared. Okay, buddy, I'm sorry. Nothing happened. Did you hit the button? I did. Small hissing noise. One punch, man. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> You alright, man? Yeah, no, I'm perfect. Okay, wow. <laughs> I did not know what to expect. That's insane. <laughs> like, it happened so quick. I kind of want to go again. Whoa. That is 100% adding, like, strength to my punch. With zero effort. Let's I mean, go! I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand further from that, actually. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> armed. Okay. All right, so do you want to try it with more juice? Sure. <laughs> Right, is this a thousand? Puppy. Yeah. Wait, uh, this puppy's armed. I was so calm, I'm scared again. <laughs> oh, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> that catapulted me into the bag. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Kali Kalima this sucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. At this point, I'm not the one using this. This is using me. Like, the second I press the button, zero control. Hmm. Good times, but I think we're ready, Charles. Was this really necessary? Not really. I'm taking this off, dude. We're gonna try this one punch against the classic boxer tool, just a punching bag. Let's show how powerful this thing is. Now we're, we're only starting at 1,000 PSI, so that's one third beans. He says only, but it's still terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad we got someone else to do this. I think it's gonna fare pretty darn well. Hey, let's go, one, two. <laughs> you all right, man? Are you, are you sure you're all right? I actually don't know. Uh, give me a second. You good? <sighs> wow, that blew everything off my face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel. Okay, can take that off for a second. Okay, Whoa. holy That was very strong on my face. Yeah. yeah. How did you hit your face with that? I just punched. Everything peeled off my face. Um, it was scary. I thought I went blind for half a second there, but we're gonna try it again slightly lower PSI just to get comfortable um, And try different punches so that it doesn't Yeah, it's your beautiful face. Yeah, I think it's terrifying. I think it's absolutely insane Would you do it? I would do it the first time After that first one can't hear anything. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. That was good. Okay. I barely okay. used power there, so. Find the bag. You look like you put no effort into the punch and it really moves the bag. Yeah, it was just like literally just me going like this and the bag just. We have proven that this adds way more power to my punch. It's also um, double edged sword. <laughs> it punches back. Yeah. I really want to try it at higher pressure. <laughs> so we're gonna see what happens at just full beans with a rocket engine at full blast. One. Oh! What?
I got another in me. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not wearing that, dude. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Wrist's pretty sore, but uh, yeah, I'm all right. Holy sh We're back at the shop. We're gonna punch through some cinder blocks. Uh, hopefully it doesn't destroy my hand, but we have something for that. Charles made a beautiful attachment. It's basically brass knuckles that just go in front of my, my actual fit. So uh, the destructive power has just increased by how much, Charles? Uh, what amount? At least four. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! That felt so powerful. I barely punched. It was just like, bah! Let's do another one. I'm built different. Wow, this would do some damage. I noticed after I took it off, the whole frame is bent. This should show you how strong this thing is. Crazy, I'm surprised my hand is okay. Nick's gonna take one for the team. Uh, he said what he wanted to try it on. Uh, I have no insurance. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Whew. It just turned red and it just got a lot scarier. All right, let's see what this thing got. Three, two, one. Oh my God. One. Holy, holy. Oh my God. I could have went through a brick wall myself. All right, let's blow this thing up. 1500 PSI. Oh shoot. 2000 PSI? Okay. <laughs> two, one. Oh my god! Oh my! I thought it was a dud at first. Can I see that? <laughs> Bro, did it go to the sky? I just saw confetti, dude. What are you gonna ruin now? Some flowers? Oh no. No play with me. Two, one. Oh! You good? I'm good. The flower's good? So how was the experience? It's definitely scary. Like you literally press the button and two seconds of your life is gone. You teleport, like you don't have no control. And then two seconds afterwards, you're like back in control. But for those two seconds, bro, you're at God's will, dude. <laughs> Any regrets? Absolutely. <laughs> good? Yeah, I'm good. Because I'm going to spin you. We're at 1600 PSI. And then you're going to go. Oh! Woo! Woo! That's good. Oh my god. Are you gonna throw up? A little bit. I'm gonna give this thing back to you. Okay. Can somebody get this thing off me, please? What you, what you doing, Charles? We're punching this door down. This is gonna be stupid loud in this hallway. I want this door gone. I want this thing to dance across the shop floor and fall down. Three, two, one! Oh yeah! One! Over there somewhere. You okay? Yeah, uh, the fist isn't though. Wow. <laughs> the door. I can't actually get my hand out of this anymore. It bent a bit during that last hit. So we're actually gonna need to undo the crossbar. Wow. Um, thank you so much, Charles, for turning me into the One Punch Man. No it was worries. absolutely terrifying. I yep. don't know why <laughs> I volunteered for this. Yeah, the sheer power of the air itself bent the entire system, like the entire fist. It wasn't even us punching, because we're not that strong. This, this might be the thing that we've made that most makes you feel like superhero strength. Like Because it's still your own hand doing the hitting, but you just kind of go along for the ride. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe, or you'll get punched in the face <laughs> with this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to secure your legacy. Download Game of Thrones Legends using my link or scan the QR code and get a free 50 gold, 3,000 food, and a daily summon token to start your journey.